Okay, hello there. For those of you that haven't seen me before, my name is Craig, and I do magic. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing over the next hour is I'm going to be showing you some amazing close-up magic. Now, put your hand up in the air if you like magic. I want to see your hands go up in the air if you do. Now, let me explain something to you because you're all the way over there, and I'm all the way here, so I can see you. So if you put your hand in the air, I can see you, but I can't hear you. You can hear me, I can't hear you. So it's a, if I ask you a question or if I say put your hand in the air, if you put the hand in the air, that means that I know exactly what you're thinking, exactly what you're doing. So let's have a practice. If you like magic, put your hand in the air. Awesome, you guys are brilliant. You guys are so good at this. Put both hands in the air. You can see me, you can hear me. I'm stoked, I'm super excited. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing some magic for you guys. Now. I'm going to be doing close-up magic. Now, you're probably wondering what close-up magic is. Close-up magic is magic that's done close-up right in front of your eyes. So if you've ever seen Dynamo, has anyone ever seen Dynamo on TV before? Put your hand up if you've seen Dynamo. So if you've seen Dynamo on TV before, that's the sort of magic he does. He does close-up magic. So I'm going to be doing some close-up magic for you. I've got loads of different tricks. We're going to be doing some absolutely amazing tricks. But let me ask you a question. If you're ready to begin, Put your hand in the air. I want to know you. Oh, well, you're ready. I'm ready. That's super exciting. Now, the only thing is, if I'm going to be doing magic for you for the next hour, I want you guys to be a really good audience. And there's a couple of things you've got to be able to do if you're a good audience. And the first thing you've got to be able to do, you've got to be able to clap your hands. So I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to see how loud you can clap your hands. So everybody start off like this with your hands out like this. Now, when you do that, don't bonk the person next to you in the head. That would be a little bit silly. We don't want anyone bonked in the head. So three hands are like this. And on the count of three, you're going to cut your hands together as hard as you can. Get ready. One, two, three. Go for it. That's not bad. There is a test. Everybody put your hands in the air like this so I can see your hands. Because if you clap really hard, your hands should be right red. And I don't see many red hands. So we're going to try that again. First of all, rub your hands together like this. Give them a rub. Very good, you guys are awesome at this. And then, wiggle your fingers like this. We're warming up our fingers. Very good, and then throw your arms out wide like that. That is absolutely amazing. And now clap your hands together, go! Let's have a look, put your hands in the air. Oh, red, red, red. And we just had uh, somebody else join on Susanna Richards' uh, device. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you very much for coming along and spending some time with me. Uh, to catch you up, I'm the magician, my name's Craig. So, we've done the clapping, that's really good. Now, to catch up, there's one more thing you've got to be able to do before I do the magic. You've got to be able, this is really important, you've got to be able to cheer, okay, really loud. Now, you know when you're at school and your teachers tell you you've got to be quiet, and when you're at home and all your parents tell you that you've got to be quiet, there we go, uh, your parents tell you you've got to be quiet. While I'm doing this show, I don't want you to be quiet. I want you to be really, really noisy. So if I ask you a question, don't whisper, shout as loud as you can, okay? That's really, really important. So I'm gonna to count to three, and what I want you to do is cheer as loud as you can. Let's have a practice, here we go. Look, I'll show you how loud you need to cheer. Hang on, let me show you, hang on. La 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 la, I'm just warming up, hang on. La 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 la, okay, I'm good. You gotta cheer like this. Yeah! That's as loud as I need you to be. You want to cheer so loud that if there's any parents in the room with you, they're doing this with their hands because it's so noisy. So let's try. On the count of three, I want you guys to cheer as loud as you can. Get ready on three. One, two, three. Oh, that's brilliant. You guys are awesome. You guys are so good at this. Well, you know what? That means one thing. You are ready for the magic show. And like I said, for those of you who have just joined, I see there's a young man who's just joined on Susanna Richards. Bye bye. Um, just so you know, I'm going to be doing close-up magic, that magic that's done close-up. We are going to be cramming in so many magic tricks over the next hour. It's going to be brilliant. And I'm going to start off, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off by teaching you guys how to do a trick. If you'd like to learn how to do a trick, put your hand in the air. Put your hand in the air so I can see. Good, good, good. I'm going to teach you how to do a magic trick. Because whenever I do magic, people turn around to me and they say, Craig, because that's my name, Craig. They say, Craig, I want to learn how to do magic. So I'm going to teach you how to do a magic trick. I'm going to perform the trick first of all, then I'm going to teach it you. And then once I've taught you the trick, we'll move on with the show. And the trick that I'm going to teach you uses a green handkerchief. 
Hopefully you can see the green handkerchief. Put your hand in the air if you can see the green handkerchief. Very good. Now let me show you the trick first of all. I'm going to perform the trick first, and then I will teach you how the trick works. Now the idea of this trick is very simple. What you have to do is you have to put this green handkerchief into your hand. Now it's got to go all the way into the hand. If it doesn't go all the way into the hand, then um, it, it's not worked, basically. It's got to go all the way into the hand so you can't see it. Now once you've got it all the way in the hand, and there's no little bits that are sticking out, you have to do the magic move. You see, every magician has to do a magic move. If you don't do the magic move, magic won't happen. This is my magic move. I just wave my hand over the fist like that, and then I snap my fingers. When I snap my fingers, that's the signal for the magic to happen. You see, when I snap my fingers, what happens is that, ma that hanky turns into a real egg. And if the egg is here, you're probably wondering, where's the handkerchief? Well, look at this, down in my pocket. There, in my pocket, we actually have the handkerchief. And that's the egg in the hanky trick. Now, put your hand up in the air if you'd like to learn how to do this trick. If you'd like to learn how to do it, okay, I can see you all would like to learn how to do this trick. I will teach you how to do the trick. Now, the only problem is, if I teach you how to do this trick, and you tell other magicians I've taught you how to do the magic, I could be in trouble. So I'm going to make sure you don't tell anyone. I want you to take an oath or a promise. So everyone put your right hand in the air like this, put your hand up high in the air. And repeat what I say, say what I say in a nice, loud voice. I, they're gonna be a bit louder than that. I, much better, state your name. No, 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 no. When I say state your name, don't say state your name, that's silly. Say your name. Let's try again. I, I, a bit louder, very good, my name, no, you don't say my name, you don't say, no, I'll trust you, I'll trust you, I'll trust you, to do this trick, you need a couple of things, the first thing you need is a handkerchief, check, the second thing that you need, as well as a handkerchief, you need a magician's egg, this is a magician's egg, now a magician's egg is not an egg that's being laid by a magician, that would be weird, a magician's egg is an egg with a hole in it, see there's a hole in the other side. And inside this egg, you actually have another handkerchief. There's a technical term for this, it's called cheating. Now let me explain how it works. What you have to do, you're gonna do this trick, you need to prep the trick. Now when I say prep, this is the bit you do before the audience starts watching. So before I switched on my camera, and I started performing for all you amazing people at home, I did this, so you didn't know about it. So first of all, this is what you do. You take the magician's egg, that's the egg with the hole in it, remember the magician's egg, and you put that in your pocket, okay? Then you take one of your hankies, you put that into your left-hand pocket, you take your other hanky, and you put that into the right-hand pocket. And now you are ready to begin the show. And what you do is you come out and you introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Craig. I am a magician. You've got to use your magician's voice. That is my magician's voice. Hello, I am a magician. I do magic. That's my magician's voice. Then what you do, you say, I'm going to do a trick with a hanky. And both hands go into your pockets as if you're looking for the hanky. Now, here's what's going to happen. You're going to bring the hanky out of your right-hand pocket and wave it up and down. This is called misdirection. Everyone's going to look over there at the hanky. And when you do that, this hand here comes out with the egg palm. Palming means holding the egg secretly in your hand. If I turn my hand around, you can see that the egg's there. Don't turn your hand around, by the way, that would be silly, then see the egg. Now what you do is you take your hand key and you push it into your hand. Now you're not really pushing it into your hand. Really, you're pushing it into the hole in the egg. Magicians call this pushing the hand key into the hole in the egg. Now you push it all the way into the hole in the egg. You don't want any bits sticking out. So take your time over this, take your time, make sure there's no bit sticking out because when you show them the egg, you don't want them to see a bit of hanky. So you push it all the way in. And then you say that I need to do a magic move. You wave your hand over and you snap your fingers and then you're gonna grab the egg and you're gonna show them the egg. Now it's really important that when you do this, you cover the hole in the egg with your thumb. Because if they see a hole in the egg, they'll realize how it works. So you grab the egg with the thumb on top of it and you lift it up and everyone gives you a big round of applause like this. And then this hand goes into your pocket and you pull the hanky out from your pocket. And that's how the trick works. Now the problem is, oh, first of all, never do this with somebody watching from behind because they'll see the hole in the egg and that's not good. 
Secondly, and this is really, really important, if somebody in the audience has seen this trick before, they might point to you and go, oh mate, I know how that works. There's a hole in the egg. Now, if somebody says that, you've got to use real magic. Real magic looks like this. You wave your hand in front of the egg. You snap your fingers and you blow on the egg. Then you take a glass and you tap the glass against the egg. That changes this egg into a real egg. You crack it open and you show it to real egg with a real yolk inside. That is what real magic looks like. Give yourselves a big round of applause, guys. You're amazing. You're amazing. You guys are awesome. That's how it works. That's how magic works. So now you know how that trick works. We'll get into it properly. Now what I'm going to do, ugh, I've got egg on my, got egg on my mat. I'll turn it around like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do another trick right now because that's, that's, that's a trick for you to learn, but I'm going to show you the very first trick I learned when I was six years old. Who'd like to see the very first trick I ever learned when I was six years old? Put your hand in the air if you would. Okay, brilliant. The very first trick that I ever learned when I was six years old, needs a couple of things. The first thing it needs is a brown paper bag. And I want you to see that there's nothing inside this bag. I'm gonna come right up to the camera so you can see there's nothing inside the bag. The bag is empty. Now, as well as the bag, I also need a bottle. I have a bottle over here. And the idea is really simple. Right in front of your eyes, I'm gonna try and make this bottle disappear inside this bag. Now, if I can make this bottle disappear inside this bag, if you think that would be really good, put your hand in the air. That would be great, wouldn't it? So I'm going to make this bottle disappear inside this bag. Now, all I have to do to do this is put the bottle inside the bag. So you can see the bottle is still in there. I haven't done anything just yet. Now, I'm going to try and make this bottle disappear inside this bag right in front of your eyes. All I have to do is the magic move, wave my hand, snap my fingers, and just like that, the bottle has completely disappeared. Look, it's gone. The bottle's vanished. It's amazing. It's the best trick I've ever seen. That's not the first part. The second part is when I snap my fingers, the bottle comes back. See, it's back inside the bag. Now, I can see people aren't very happy with that. I can tell people are pointing at the screen and going, that's not real magic, magic boy. So I'll tell you what, I'll do it again. Who thinks I cheated? Put your hand in the air if you think I cheated. See, I can see that you think I cheated. You think I held on to the, uh, the, I'll hold on to the bottle through the back. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do the same trick, but this time I'll let go of the bag. If I let go of the bag and the bottle disappeared, would that be good? Put your hand in the air because it would. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll do it again. Watch the bottle, watch the bag. Do not blink. Watch the bottle, watch the bag. Wave my hand, snap my fingers. The bottle has disappeared. I'll turn it over. I'll show it's gone. I've let go. Thank you very much. Hey, it's a miracle. It's the best trick you've ever Look, if I snap my fingers, it comes, it comes back. I'm going to keep doing this trick until you like it. I can tell you guys, I'm very impressed. I'll tell you what, I'll do real magic. Watch the bottle. Watch the bag. Do not blink. Watch that bottle right there inside this bag because this is a magic show. And if I'm going to do a magic show, I'm going to do real magic. So that's when I snap my fingers and the bottle completely disappears, leaving nothing but a bag. And that is the trick. Give yourselves a big, massive round of applause. You guys are amazing. If you're having a good time, put your hand in the air, wave it around, say me. Brilliant stuff. So I'm going to show you right now what happened when I wanted to become a magician. I'm gonna come really close up to the camera so you guys can see this. Here you go, I'm really close up, come up to the camera and tell you a little story about when I wanted to be a magician. And it uses a couple of coins. If I put these coins down on the table, put the hand in the air if you can see them, put your hand, very good. Now, you're all the way over there, I'm all the way over here, so I'm gonna bring these to the camera so you can see them. This is an American, well, actually, this is an old copper English coin. This coin is beautiful. It's an old copper English coin. And this coin here is an American silver dollar. Two coins. There we go. Now, I want you to watch the two coins very carefully. We've got a copper coin. There's the copper coin. And we've got a silver coin. There's the silver coin. Two coins and a mat. Now, I want you to watch very carefully. You see, I'm going to tell you a story about when I wanted to become a magician. You see, when I wanted to become a magician, I was watching TV and a magician on TV did the best trick ever. I'm going to show you these two coins. What the magician did is the magician brought out two coins, brought out a copper coin and a silver coin. He showed his hand empty. He only had two coins. He reached into his hand and he took out the copper coin. And he put the copper coin into his pocket. 
And he said to somebody, he said, if I put the copper coin in my pocket, what does that leave there? And the man who was doing it on the TV said, it leaves the silver coin. And he snapped his fingers. And when he snapped his fingers, the copper coin came back into his hand and the audience clapped loudly. And I knew at that point I wanted to do that trick. So I went to the, um, what I did is I went to the local magic shop and I said to the magician there, I said, look, have you got the trick that the magician did on TV last week with the copper and the silver coin? And he brought these two coins out. And he said, is it the one where you show a copper coin and a silver coin? And you reach into the hand and you take one coin out. And this time it was a silver coin. He says, you put the coin in your pocket, you show your hand empty, you snap your fingers and the coin comes back. And I was like, yes, that's the trick. That's the one I want. I'd love to be able to do that trick. And he said, it's 500 pounds. And I was like, that's really expensive. But I bought it. I saved up, I saved up and I bought it. And I bought it. And I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. And so I could show two coins very, very clearly, a copper coin and a silver coin. I could put the silver coin in my pocket, snap my fingers. Now, look, you can see there's just a copper coin there. Snap my fingers. And when I snap my fingers, three, two, one, they come back. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm a real magician. I can do magic. So for you right now, I'm going to do the world famous two coin trick. Watch the two coins. There's a copper coin. There's a silver coin. I'm going to reach into my hand. I'm going to take one of the coins out. I'm just going to take this one here, the copper coin. That leaves just the silver coin, nothing in my hand. If I snap my fingers and the other coin jump back, would that be good? That would be great, but I'm going to go further. You see, when I snap my fingers, every single thing disappears, leaving absolutely nothing. And that is how I learned how to do magic. So now you can do the same thing as well. So we've done magic with coins, we've done a coin trick, we've done magic randomly with an egg, we've done an egg trick, we've even done a trick with a bottle. I'll tell you what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you one of my favourite tricks to perform. And this is a trick with some rope. Uh, if you can see the three ropes here, put your hand up high in the air. You need to know that you can see the three ropes. You can see the three ropes. Brilliant. There's three ropes. There's a green rope. There's a yellow rope and there's an orange rope. We're going to count them one at a time. First of all, I need you to count along with me so that everybody here knows that I'm not cheating. So rope number one is the orange one. In a big loud voice, if everyone could say, orange. Yes, the orange rope. Brilliant. That was really loud. I like that. The second rope is the yellow rope. If everyone could shout, yellow. Very good. And the third rope, this one here, is the green rope. Everybody shout green. Brilliant. Three ropes. Now, here's what I'm going to try and do. This trick is about 2,000 years old. And I'm going to have to start off by tying these three ropes together. So I'm going to take the yellow rope and the green rope, and I'm going to tie the ends together giving us a rope that's yellow and green. Then when I've done that, I'm gonna take this orange rope here. You can all see the orange rope. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie the orange rope and the yellow rope together. There we go, just like that. So what we have, we have one long rope, but there's two knots making one long rope. We've basically got a green rope tied to a yellow rope, and we've got a yellow rope tied to an orange rope. Now, the idea of this trick is very, very simple. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and make it so that instead of three ropes tied together, we have one long piece of rope with no knots in it at all. If you'd like to see that, put your hand in the air. Now, to do this, I need your help. You see, I said earlier on, every single time a magician does magic, what the magician has to do is he has to do something to account for the magic. So you have to wave his hand or snap his fingers. This is where you guys are going to help me. I'm going to count to three, and I want you to blow at the knots on the rope. And if you blow hard enough, and I'll blow at the same time as you blow, but if you blow hard enough, and I 
blow hard enough, then hopefully what will happen is we'll have one long piece of rope and the knots will literally fall off the rope. So I want you to watch. I'm going to hold the rope here. There's knot number one. There's knot number two. Now we're going to do this. Here we go. On the count of three, everybody blow at the knots. Watch. One, two, three. Okay, sometimes magic doesn't go like you thought it would. Um, the problem is we need a lot more magic. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll still do the blowing, but let's just try and blow on the orange and yellow knot. We'll just try that one first of all. So watch the orange and yellow knot. I'll blow, you blow, and what'll happen is if you blow hard enough, the orange and yellow knot will drop off the rope. Watch. One, two, three. Blow. <sighs> no, that's not right. Um, Okay, let's try this one. Let's try this one. The, the yellow and the green knot. That, this, this is what we need to do. Watch the yellow and the green knot. Watch. I'll blow, you blow. On the count of three, I promise you this will work this time. Watch. One, two, three. It's not, it's not, it's not. <gasps> Whoa, check that out, guys. Seriously, check that out. Look, 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 look. The yellow and the orange knot fell off the rope. Look at that, there's no knots. How crazy is that? There's literally no knot. Hey, if we should try the other knot, put your hand in the air. Let me know. I'll tell you what, we'll make it a little bit harder. I'll wrap the rope around my hand with the knot on it. I'll hold the end of it here. And on three, I want to blow one more time at the whole rope and we'll try and make that second knot disappear. On three, blow. One, two, three, blow. And let's have a look. Here's the green. Hopefully that knot's disappeared. Hopefully that knot's disappeared. Hopefully there's no knot. There's no knot there on the green knot. There's no knot. There's no knot. We have literally just one long piece of rope. Look at that. You guys are amazing. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You rock. That is brilliant. You guys are absolutely awesome. I didn't know how well we were going to do here, but you guys are smashing it out of the park. i tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We've got, uh, let me just put this on here. Just give me one second. Don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere at all. There we go. I'm just going to put this one on here. There we go. I'll tell you what. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that in a bit. We'll try something else because you guys have been doing so well. We're going to move on to uh, something that I really like doing. We're going to move on to a card trick. If you'd like to see a card trick, put your hand in the air. Let's see a card trick, put your hand in the air. I can tell you've all got your hands in the air. That's absolutely brilliant. Well, this is a very special pack of cards. And I'm going to tell you why it's a very special pack of cards. It's a very special pack of cards because there's no ink on the cards. These cards are blank. They're blank on the fronts. They're blank on the backs. These are what cards look like before they're printed. Blank on this side. Blank on this side, these are blank cards. And we're going to use these blank cards to show you something amazing. Now, you're all the way over here. As I say, you're there, I'm here, and I can't hear you. Now, there's a little girl in glasses that I'm looking at right now. And she's, is your name, just give me a thumbs up if I'm right. Is your name Elsa? Yeah, because it says Elsa underneath your, uh, underneath your picture. So I'll tell you what we're going to do, Elsa. You're all the way over there but we'll use your name because there's all of these cards. I want you guys to make sure we're going to have one for you, Elsa. And I want everybody here to make sure that this, this card is your card. So we're going to write your name on it. Give me a thumbs up if that's okay. Good. Now you get to pick which card you want, Elsa. So I'm going to go down this. I'm going to go down the cards like this with my, with my hand. And I'm going to drop them into my other hand. And you're going to say stop. Where, well, you can't say stop because I might be able to hear you. You're going to put your hand up like that which is the universal way of saying stop, Elsa. And when you say stop and you put your hand up like that, I'll stop journaling and I'll know that's the card that you want. Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Elsa understands everybody. Good stuff. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to go down here. Anytime you want to, put your hand up to let me know you want to stop. Elsa, you can be quicker than that. I went to the end of the pack. You need to say stop before I get to the end, Elsa. Come on. You need to be a bit quicker. Try again. Hang on, I haven't started yet, Elsa. Don't put your hand up yet. I haven't even started dribbling yet. Give me one minute. At least let me start dribbling. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Anytime you're... I haven't started yet, Elsa. Good grief. I can't do it yet. You 
don't wait for me to start dribbling. I'm going to three, two, one, then I'm going to dribble, and then you can just put your hand up any time you want to. Here we go. Three, two, one. There. Perfect. So this card right here, are you happy with this card? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Good stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pen, and I'm going to write your name on here. L, sir. There you go. Is that cool with you? Elsa, there you go. Good, good stuff. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to come really close. This is close up magic, so I'm going to come really close up to the camera right now so you can all see. Hopefully you can all see this. So Elsa, here is your card. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your card and I'm going to pop it and the ink doesn't come off. This is, this is like permanent ink. Now I'm going to take your card and I'm going to pop it down into the middle of the pack. So it's about halfway down. I want you to look at that. There you go, about halfway down. About halfway down there like that. Now the idea is for me to bring your card up to the top of the pack by magic. Even though it's somewhere down in the middle, I'm going to bring it up to the top of the pack by magic. Now to do this, all I have to do is snap my fingers. And when I snap my fingers, what happens is your card comes right to the top of the pack, which is impossible. But I'm going to do that again for you. If you'd like to do it again, put your thumb up so I know. Look, I'll do it again, because maybe the first time you didn't know what was going to happen. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do it again. I'm going to put your card about halfway down. I want you to see from the side, it's going about halfway down into the pack. I'm going to push it all the way in. Now, nothing happens until I snap. And when I snap, your card comes straight to the top of the pack. And it works every single time. Now, maybe you think I'm not really putting it in. So I'm going to put it into the pack face up. You can see it going there. Let me just come here. You can see it going there face up. Is that fair? Give me a thumbs up if that's fair. Good. Now watch. Because your card is face up, this time when I bring your card to the top of the pack, it'll come face up to the top. So watch, there's nothing in my hand. I'm just going to rub the top of the pack and you'll see your card appear. Watch, one, keep an eye on that card, two, three. You see, there it is. It comes right to the top of the pack, which is just weird. Now, if I want to, I can actually take the ink off your card. Watch, I can actually rub the ink off your card. I can actually pull that signature there, that Elsa. I can take it off the card. You see, it's right there. It's just invisible. I can put it on my arm with the rest of my tattoos. Now, the only way to put it back on your card is to rub your invisible signature right there onto this card. Look, if I take this card and just rub, the ink comes back onto it. I mean, it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. But this is why I don't understand. See, I understand how all that works. I understand how the card keeps going down into the pocket, uh, into the pack, and it keeps going to the top. I understand how that works. What I don't understand is this. You see, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. In my pocket down here, in my pocket, there's one card and one card only. It's been in my pocket from the very beginning. And Elsa, that's the one with your name on it. I don't get how your card ended up in my pocket, but we're going to see if we can go one step further. Elsa, there's your card. I'm going to pop it on the table for a minute, right there, so you can keep an eye on that. And now I'm going to take another card. I'm going to take this card right here, and on this card, I'm going to write my name. Now, like I said, my name is Craig. So let me just write my name here. C R A I G. So hopefully you can see my name on there. Can you see my name? See my name? Brilliant. Now watch. I'm going to take, here we go. I'm going to take my card. And Elsa, I'm going to take your card as well. And I'm going to come really close up to the camera, and I want you to see this. Right, here we go. What we're going to do... Oh, where's your... Hang on a second. Sorry, I've looked there. You're there. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Here we go. Watch. I'm going to take your card there, Elsa. And I'm going to take my card underneath. You can see my card there, Craig. You can see your card. I'm going to try and fuse these two cards together into one. Watch the signature on your card, Elsa. I'm going to pull three times. Once, twice, three times. And I can pull the signature 
off your card, Elsa, and you're not going to believe this, but now check it out. There's your card, and on the other side of your card is my card. The two cards have fused together into one single card, piece for piece, fibre for fibre. You're amazing. Everybody give Elsa a big round of applause. Oh my gosh, that is wonderful. You are brilliant. Now, we're going to try and do something else now. We're going to try and do something else. I'm going to put this away and we're going to go for something a little bit different. A little bit different. We've got a lighter here. Now, I should start off by saying, please, please, please do not try this at home. What I'm about to do right now is very, very dangerous and I don't want anyone at home trying to do this. What I have here, and I should tell you, I'm the British Magical Society Close-Up Magician of the Year, and this is the trick that I use to win. Inside this purse, I have some little pieces of paper. I'm gonna tip them out, so we have four little pieces of paper, and then the purse is empty. And you see there's nothing else inside the purse. I'm gonna put the little purse thing down there. In fact, I'm gonna turn the mat over because the purse is black. There you go, if I do this, and this, there we go, it's probably a little bit better. So I'll show you the purse is empty, and I'll put it there so you can see it the whole time. Put your hand up in the air if you can see that purse. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know. Brilliant, everyone can see the purse. So the idea is really simple. I want you to watch very, very carefully. I have a lighter, and I have four pieces of paper. Now, the most expensive coin that you can get is a Morgan Silver Dollar. It's the oldest coin in circulation. It's over 120 years old. It's made up of 98% solid silver. There's very few of them in the world. And I'm gonna try and make one appear using a piece of paper. I'm gonna try and light this paper. And this paper will turn into a Morgan silver dollar. Everybody watch carefully. Do not blink. I'm just gonna light the paper. And that turns into a silver dollar. Now you might have missed that, so I'm gonna do it again. We're gonna put that first coin right there. I have another piece of paper here. This time you know what's gonna happen. Watch the piece of paper, watch the lighter. As I light that lighter, or if I fail to light the lighter, there you go, that one turns into a coin as well. That's number two. We'll do this one last time with this piece of paper. Watch this piece of paper, all I have to do is light it. And that one turns into a coin as well. So we've got a situation where we have this purse, which is empty, and we have three silver dollars, which have appeared out of nowhere using little pieces of lighter paper. I'm gonna try and do something completely impossible with these three coins now. Watch these three coins very carefully. Uh, let me see, one, two, three. We're going to start with this one, then we'll do these two. But this one first, watch. If I rub the back of my hand and snap my fingers, that first coin disappears. I'm going to do it again, because you see, magicians, the problem with magicians is they never do the trick again. But I'm going to do the trick again. I'm going to, I'm going to say this coin now. Watch this coin. Don't worry about this one. Watch this coin. You know what's going to happen. I'm going to rub the back of my hand, snap my fingers, and when I do, that coin disappears completely. That leaves one last coin. I'm going to try and do this one the hard way. I want you to watch. Where's the lighter? Oh, it's here. Look, I'm going to take the last coin. I'm going to put this piece of paper on my fist, and I'm going to try and light it. I'll hold it here like this. Watch. One two, three, and that final coin disappears completely. All three coins gone. And remember the purse, the purse that's been empty from the very beginning? You're not gonna believe this, but now, inside the purse, that's the three coins. Wow! You guys having fun? Put your hand in the air if you're having fun. I want to know you're having a good time. This is awesome. You know what? I can't believe we've been doing this so long. At the very, very beginning of the show, at the very, very, very beginning of the show, I showed you a trick with a silk handkerchief and it turned into an egg. Put your hand up if you remember that. 
Wonderful. Well, we're going to try and do something different. We're going to try and do something a little bit different. You see, we're going to try and do some. I've got some more hankies over here. And this trick that I'm about to tell you about right now, it's all about film. Who here likes watching films? Who here likes watching films and movies? I love watching films. I like watching movies. My favorite film, my favorite film of all time. You've probably seen it. I bet everybody's seen this film. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Put your hand in the air if you've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Everybody's seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. There's a scene in that film that makes it my favorite film. There's a scene where Charlie and Willy Wonka and some kid called Mike TV are in a room. And what they do is they take the biggest chocolate bar that you've ever seen. They put them into a machine, they put this chocolate bar into a machine, they pull the handle, the chocolate bar disappears in a million pieces. It floats invisibly up in the air, it then travels through the air invisibly, it lands inside a TV, and Charlie reaches inside a TV and pulls the chocolate bar out. Put your hand in the air if you remember that bit in the film. Everybody remembers that bit in the film. I'm going to try and do a similar sort of thing. But I haven't got a TV, as well as not having a TV, I haven't got a chocolate bar. But I, I can improvise, and I'm going to improvise. See, instead of a TV, oops, hang on a minute, there we go. Instead of a TV, we're going to use these. See, I have two blue handkerchiefs. This one is handkerchief number one, put your hand up if you can see it. Good, this one here is handkerchief number two, put your hand up in the air if you can see it, very good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these two blue hankies and I'm going to take the corners of the two blue hankies and I'm going to tie them together like this. I'm going to tie the two blue hankies together. And the reason I'm going to do that is these two blue hankies, once they're tied together, well, I, if I could ever learn how to tie a hanky together, there we go, I'm struggling a little bit, there we go. But if I can tie these two hankies together, there you go. So these two hankies tied together, perfect. They are going to represent um, the TV. Okay, so these two blue handkerchiefs are going to represent the TV. I've got a different colored handkerchief. I'm going to try and make that one disappear. I'm going to make it appear tied in between the two blue handkerchiefs. And that'll be like the chocolate bar going into the TV. Now, your job as an audience is to watch these two blue handkerchiefs the entire time. If I put them to one side, you'll think I've done something with them. If I put them on the table, maybe you think that I'm cheating. So I'm going to take these two blue handkerchiefs and put them in my top like that. So you can see the two blue handkerchiefs the whole time. Put your hand in the air if you can see both of them. Keep an eye on the two blue handkerchiefs. Now, I'm going to try and take a red handkerchief. And I'm going to try and make this red handkerchief disappear right in front of your eyes. It's going to disappear into a million pieces. And it's going to appear tied in between the two blue handkerchiefs. Now, to do this, I have to start off by putting the red handkerchief into my hand. It is really important that you cannot see the red handkerchief in my hand. If you can see the red handkerchief, it's not going to work. So I'm going to put this all the way in my hand until you can't see it. It is really important that you cannot see the red handkerchief. Now, once it's in my hand, and once we're in a position where you cannot see it, you're pointing at the screen, there's people pointing, why are you pointing at the oh, <laughs> Sorry, I pushed it too hard. Um, we'll put it all the way into the hand. Now, once it's all the way into the hand, then we start the trick. Sorry, I've got a little hand, it's a big handkerchief. Sorry, I'll put it in all the way. There you go. So there's nothing point sticking out. Now, the idea is to make this blue handkerchief, well, actually, the sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, the idea is to make the red handkerchief disappear and appear tied in between the two blue handkerchiefs. Now to do this, I need to teach you the magic. Like I said, it's really important you do something to grab for the magic. We blew last time, this time you're gonna try and do something different. I'm gonna get you to wiggle. So everybody, when I say wiggle your fingers, stick out your fingers and wiggle them as fast as you can. When I say wiggle your toes, stick out your toes and wiggle them as fast as you can. When I say wiggle your ears, reach up and wiggle your ears as fast as you can. And finally, when I say wiggle your nose, go ahead and wiggle your nose. And then you shout the magic words. Abracadabra. Let's go with Abracadabra. And then hopefully the handkerchief will become invisible. So let's put it in the hand. Here we go. Get ready. Everybody, wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your ears. Wiggle your nose. Everybody shout. Hocus pocus. We'll go with hocus pocus. I prefer that to Abracadabra. And now the handkerchief has gone completely invisible. It is completely invisible. You cannot see it at all. It is totally invisible. 
I can see it because I'm a magician. You cannot see it because you are a muggle. A muggle is somebody who can't do magic. But uh, if you're a mid, lots of people pointing at the screen again. Uh, can you see this? Put your hand up if you can see it. You guys obviously have magical powers that I didn't know about. They did not tell me about this Octo Energy when I was told I was going to be doing magic. Nobody said that the people watching could do magic. Fine. We'll have to wiggle a little bit harder. Let's try again. No, we'll try again. This time, you're going to have to wiggle a little bit harder. You're going to have to wiggle a little bit faster. Okay, so let's try this one more time. But this time, I want to see some major wiggling. Right, here we go. Let me put it all the way in the hand. Everybody, wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your ears, wiggle your nose, wiggle your legs, wiggle your hair, wiggle your head, wiggle your chest, wiggle your teeth, wiggle your shoulders, wiggle your elbows, wiggle your knees, wiggle your bum, wiggle everything all at the same time. Shout, focus, focus. Nice. That is so good. And now the handkerchief is invisible. I will show you. Let me just take it out my fist. Here it is. One invisible handkerchief. Thank you very much. I know I'm amazing. Best magician of all time. I appreciate it. I love you all. It's brilliant. It's pointing at the screen again. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you don't have to say anything. I know what you're trying to say. You want me to open up my hand. That's absolutely fine. I'll open up my hand. Here we go. Da, da, da. There you go. Lovely in the hand. See, it's completely empty. You guys thought I was cheating. Okay, you want to see the other hand. I can tell. Okay, look, there's nothing in. Hang on just one minute. There's nothing in the other hand. The other hand has completely disappeared. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing in this hand. There's nothing in this hand. There's nothing in. I can see that everybody here thinks I'm cheating. Look, I tell you what. I will open up both hands at the same time, like this. See, the handkerchief is invisible. Just like the chocolate bar, it's floating through the air in a million pieces. And it's going to land tied in between the two blue handkerchiefs. Here's what's going to happen. On the count of three, you shout, focus, focus, one more time. And I'll pull the handkerchief out. If I pull hard enough, and you all shout loud enough, then hopefully, 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 we'll have a red handkerchief tied in between two blue handkerchiefs. But you've got to shout really loud, I've got to pull really hard. Here we go, on the count of three, hocus pocus, as loud as you can. One, two, three. Hocus pocus, lovely, and just like that, in between the two blue handkerchiefs, we have a red handkerchief. You guys are absolutely amazing. Give yourselves a round of applause for being so cool, so brilliant, so clever, so amazing. You guys absolutely rock. Um, right, we've had a lot of fun. We've been enjoying ourselves. Then we're going to do another card trick. But this card trick that I'm about to, no, no, you know what? We'll do a card trick in a minute. Let's do another coin trick. Because coin tricks are fun. Coin tricks are fun. I'm going to show you this. Now, I create, one of the things that I do, uh, as well as performing magic, I actually create magic. So it's my job to create magic tricks for other magicians. And this trick that I'm about to show you, now, I've created uh, probably about 2,000 tricks at this point. I've written 12 books on magic, and this trick was the very first trick I created. And it uses a bag. And inside the bag, there's some little gold coins. One, two, three. And as well as the little gold coins, you've got this bag. Now, the bag has a mesh front, which means that if I put something inside it, you can see inside it the whole time. That's why it's got a mesh front, so you can see anything that I put inside the bag. Now, I want to watch very, very carefully. A little bag and three gold coins. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do before I do it, so I want you to watch very carefully. I'm going to put the bag here. I'm going to put the three coins here. And the idea of this trick, there's a rule in magic, and the rule goes very, very simply, never tell the audience what you're going to do before you do it. Because if I tell you what's going to happen, you're going to be watching very carefully. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do before I do it. I'm going to try and make the three coins disappear and appear inside this bag one by one. So watch the three coins, dumplings. The three coins go into the hand. All I have to do is squeeze. And when I do, one of those coins disappears. You see there's only one, two coins left. And the reason is one coin has gone inside the bag. You can see it's in there. 
Now you might have missed it, so I'm gonna do it again. Let me show you the coin. Let me show you the bag. I'm gonna put one coin inside the bag. You can see there's one coin in the bag and there's two coins out of the bag. Now this is the next coin. Watch it, don't point. If I squeeze this coin, this coin becomes invisible. Throw it up in the air and it lands inside the bag. Look now, there's two coins inside the bag. That's two coins that have disappeared and magically traveled into the bag. Let me do this one more time. Look, there's the bag. There's coin number one. There's coin number two. Two coins inside the bag. You can see them both in there. Now watch. I'm going to put the bag over there. Watch the bag the entire time. I'm going to take this final coin. Watch this final coin the entire time. You know what's going to happen. This last coin is going to disappear from the hand to the bag. From the hand to the bag. From the hand to the bag. It happens on three. That's one, two, three. That's when that coin vanishes. And inside the bag, that's all three coins. But you know what? That's where most magicians stop. I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to try and make the three coins come out the bag. You can hear the coins in there. You can see those three coins inside the bag. I'm going to try and make these three coins come out the bag. And I'll tell you right now, the first one's going to go into this hand here. Look, I take a piece of nothing, put it into the hand, squeeze the piece of nothing, rub the back of the hand, rub the back of the bag, snap my fingers. That's the signal for the magic to happen. That's when that first coin comes out of the back, into the hand. That leaves us with two coins inside the bag. I'm going to do it again. Look, that's one coin, two coins. Two coins in the bag. You can see them both in there. Look at the two coins. There's the two coins. I'm going to put them here. Now look, the first coin came out through the top of the bag. This next one comes out by magic. Look, there's the coin. It's invisible. I'm going to put it here. You cannot see it until I blow. And that's when that one comes out the bag as well. That's coin number two. That leaves us with one last coin. Now, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to try and make this last coin disappear from the bag and jump to join these two coins. There's that final coin. Look, I'm going to put it right there on the table. I'll even give you one last look at that coin. Watch that last coin. Do not blink for a second. Don't worry about this coin. Don't worry about this coin. Watch this coin in the bag because all I have to do is wave my hands over the top of the bag and that last coin will melt up through the top of the bag. Watch. One, two, three. And that final coin comes out through the top of the bag, leaving the bag empty. Now, I've shown you that coins can go into the bag. I've shown you that coins can come out the bag, but what I'm going to do now defies any sense at all. There's the three coins. Let me show you them in the bag one more time. Watch those three coins. Do not blink, because this is the thing you're going to remember forever. I'm going to leave these three coins in the bag, and I'm going to try and make the coins penetrate down through the bag, through the pad, through the table to underneath the table. This hand goes underneath the table to catch the coins. This hand stays on top with the three coins in the bag. Watch, if I snap my fingers, listen, listen. There's the first coin through the table. Leaving two coins inside the bag. Two coins in the bag. One coin went through the bag, through the mat, and through the table. I'm gonna do this again, watch. Two coins in the bag. To be clear, you can see those two coins right there in the bag. One coin goes under the table. Listen, 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 right there. That's the second coin. That's one, two coins. Leaves us with one last coin. This last coin is impossible. Let me show you why. Let me show you. I won't even use those two coins. Watch the bag. It goes in two steps. It's an empty bag. I'm gonna make this last coin go through the table. To make it go through the table, first of all, I squeeze it. And it disappears and goes into the bag. Once it's inside the bag, I leave it in the bag, I hit the bag, and the last coin goes right through the bag, right through the table. That's all three coins.
But you know what the problem is with this tree? The problem is there's three coins. There's too much for you to watch. So I'll do one last thing with the coins and the bag, but I'll get rid of two of the coins and we'll just use one. Now watch, watch carefully. There's the bag, the bag is empty. Now watch, because this is the big finish. Obviously, you know I can take that coin, make it disappear and have it go inside the bag, you get that. I can have the coin go right up through the top of the bag, you get that. I can have the coin go right here, back inside the bag. We know all of this, but I'm gonna show you something completely impossible. Watch. I'm gonna put the empty bag on the table. I'm gonna put the coin in my pocket. I'm gonna make the coin go from the pocket to into the bag. Nothing there just yet. Watch. One, two, three. Boom. But I promised you a big finish. So if I'm going to give you a big finish, the big finish looks like this. Watch the coin in the bag. Watch the coin in the bag. Don't take your eyes off the screen for a second. Watch that coin right there in the bag. You want a big finish? That is a big finish because you cannot get anything bigger than that. That is about as big as you're going to get. You can't get bigger than that. That is a big finish. Of course, if I wanted to do something with this big coin, I could have it jump from over there over there. I could have that coin disappear from there and appear down there. I could throw the coin in the air, have it disappear and have it come back over there. I could put the coin over there, make it jump over there, put the coin over there, make it jump over there, squeeze, have it come back, put it up through the hand, just like this, up through the hand. I can put it in the pocket, bring it out through the hand, take, put it in the pocket, bring it out through the hand, put it in the pocket, snap my fingers, have it completely disappear. And that is the big finish. Thank you very, very much. Give yourselves a big, massive round of applause. You guys were absolutely awesome now if you've had a good time put your hands in the air if you've had a good time wave your hands around if you've had a good time say me i heard that i actually heard that that's so cool i've had a great time as well i've had an awesome time i'll tell you what i'll try because you guys have been so great i think we've got a couple of minutes left i think we've got time for uh maybe one last thing maybe one last thing maybe two um, I'm going to make a prediction using a pad. What I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to, uh, what well, I'm actually going to do this now. I want you guys to watch. And Elsa, I'm going to get you to help me again. Give me a thumbs up if that's okay. Good stuff. I'm going to just draw something on my pad. This is kind of a prediction. A prediction is something that's going to happen in the not too distant future. Okay, so I'm going to draw a playing card. And I'm going to put this pad here. I'm going to flip this over again because it's a red pad. So I'm going to flip this over again. There we go. Now, Elsa, do you play cards? Give me a thumbs up if you play cards. Awesome stuff. So you know that there's 52 cards in the deck of playing cards. I'll give these a shuffle. 52 cards in a pack of cards. And I wanted you to see that all these are different. Uh, it's not like it's the same card. They are all different cards. They're all mixed up. Uh, you're going to pick a card, Elsa. Here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to run my thumb down the deck. You're going to pick a hand up. That'll tell me you want to stop, and I'll show you the card. Okay. So uh, anytime you want to just say stop. Uh, so I'll run my. I'll come closer. Actually, hang on. Let me uh, let me come closer so you can see what I'm doing. Anytime you want to just say stop. There. Okay. Cool. Uh, so this is the card that you're stopping at. Can you, can you look at that? Can you see that? Give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Good stuff. Okay. We're going to leave that in the deck. One card in the deck. Now, I drew something on this pad and I told you that I was going to try and make a prediction. I told you I was going to draw a picture of a card. And I drew this picture of this card before you even picked a card. Before you even picked a card, I made a drawing right here. If I told you that I'd drawn your card, would that be good? Give me a thumbs up if that'd be good. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So I've got to, I've got, I'm going to show you the picture that I've got here. I'm going to come really close up to the camera because you're going to love this. I, I, I drew a, uh, here, come this way. I drew an ace of spades. Was that your card? Was the ace of spades your card? No, oh, it wasn't. I can tell it wasn't. No. Um, how many dots were on the card? Was it a one? Was it a two? Was it a three? Oh, it was a three. It was a three. Um, was it a heart? 
Was it a diamond? Was it a, give me a thumbs up if it was a spade or a club or a heart or a diamond. It was a diamond, diamond. So you picked the three of diamonds, three of hearts. Are you sure? You got the three of hearts. Okay, well check this out. You see, this is a picture of a deck of cards. And if I shake it, I can actually make that drawing move. And I can have one card rise up out of that pack. One card rising up out of the picture, right there. One card, let me just take that off here, look. One card, one card only. There you go. The uh, actual real drawing right there, three of diamonds. Did you say that was your card? Yeah, brilliant stuff. You see, magicians can do anything. They can make drawings move, they can do anything. But like I said before, we're not, what we're not meant to do is repeat a trick. But I'm gonna try and do this one more time. Watch. Uh, I'm gonna draw one more prediction, just in case you think it was a fluke. I'm gonna draw, I'm, gonna, well, I'm not drawing this time, I'm writing, because my drawing is terrible. I'm gonna write the name of a playing card. I'm gonna put it right there. On the table. I don't want you to see that just yet. I've wrote down the name of the playing card. I've put it right there. Now this is impossible. We're going to do this again. So I'm going to get you to pick one of these cards. And because you're all the way over there and you can't reach out and touch one, I'll do it like this. So as I run my thumb, let me get in the center of the camera. As I run my thumb down the deck, just say stop anytime you want to. There. Okay, so this is your card. Can you look at it and remember it? You got it? Give me a thumbs up if you got it. Perfect. Now watch this. I'm going to leave your card down in the middle. Now there's two types of magic. When magicians do magic, there's magic and there's mind reading. Mind reading is knowing what somebody's going to do ahead of time. Magic is completely different. I'm going to show you the difference between magic and mind reading. Check this out. Watch. I wrote down on here the name of a card. Let me open it up for you. You can tell me if I got it right. I wrote down on here, before you even picked a card, I wrote down King of Hearts. Was that your card? Give me a thumbs up if it was. That's great. Now that's mind reading. That's knowing ahead of time what you're going to do. But I'm not a mind reader, Elsa. I'm a magician. I do magic not mind reading. So if I wanted to find your card, bearing in mind I, I shuffled your card in the pack, I have no idea where it is, it's there somewhere. If I wanted to do magic, I would do this. Somewhere in this deck is your card. Elsa, watch this. I'm gonna take this drawing, I'm gonna take this piece of paper with King of Hearts on it, and I'm just gonna take the lighter that we used earlier. Elsa, watch this. And don't try this at home. King of Hearts, somewhere in that deck. Piece of paper with King of Hearts on it. Okay. Turns into a folded up playing card, Elsa. In a flash of fire, that piece of paper turns into a folded up playing card with one thing and one thing only on the other side, which is the King of Hearts, your card. Elsa. There you go. Thank you so much for helping me. Elsa, you are absolutely amazing. You were great. I couldn't have done it without you. You were unbelievable. If you were here, I would offer to saw you in half, but you're not, so I can't. So instead, <laughs> instead I want to just say thank you very much. You are amazing. I'm going to finish off with this. We've got two minutes left, guys. We've got two minutes left. And one of the things that people always ask me when they watch me do magic is as a magician, can you make money by magic? The answer is yes. This is how magicians make money inside my wallet. And again, I'm gonna come close up to the camera for this very last trick. Inside this wallet, I have receipts. Now these receipts are the same size, shape, and weight as notes. But they're, they're pieces of paper. There's nothing, there's nothing, you know, they're worthless. They're just pieces of paper. 
five pieces of paper. I'm going to try and get in front of the camera to do this last thing. I want you to watch very carefully. I'm going to fold the pieces of paper in half. I want you to watch this half and this half. Do not blink, guys. Watch these pieces of paper. I'm going to do it on the count of three. Watch. Five receipts. Worthless receipts. This is how magicians make money. See, that is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 pounds. And that is, as a magician, how you make money. There you go. Of course, easy come, easy go. Talk on. Guys, did you enjoy that? I want to say thank you very much for watching. You guys were absolutely brilliant. I've had an absolute blast. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you're watching this live, thank you very much. A special thank you to Elsa for being my amazing assistant and helping me pick cards. Elsa, I couldn't have done it without you. You rock. You are awesome. Uh, but everybody else that's watching this live, thank you very much. And if you're watching a recording of this and you're watching this after it's gone live, guys, where were you? It's way more fun if it's live. So I'll tell you what I want you to do. Check out Top to Energy. Figure out when the next session is. I'm going to be back later on this week. I think I'm going to be doing some puzzles and challenges. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to trick your friends and do some puzzles and do some challenges. Put your hand in the air if you'd like to get involved in that. I think I'm back on uh, it's Tuesday today. I think I'm back here on Thursday at some point. So check that out. But guys, thank you very much for watching. You're all awesome. And uh, on behalf of Nonstop Kids Entertainment, I'll see you all again. Take care. Thanks very much. Bye, everybody.